What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, before we got rudely interrupted by the girlfriend, love you, uh, yeah, we went into the SSN, and we defeated everybody. We had a difficult time. Wow, like, half our team fainted, we had to use impromptu rare, like, rare candies, and, uh, yeah, now it is time for us to go into the third gym battle. And yes, we are going to be using some pretty cool Pokemon right here. Not the same Pokemon, I'm just kidding, guys. But yes, I did capture myself a Sandshrew off-screen just so we can actually use the cut technique. Because, yeah, who does who wants to use the cut technique with your regular Pokemon right here? Not everybody. So, there it is, cutting that open. And I think there's a hidden item around here somewhere. Nah, I'm just playing around. Okay, so here we are in the third gym. And this is getting ridiculous right here because, well... You guys already know how much I hate this gym, and it's puzzle and all that crud. So, talk to this guy, he's like, Yo, champ in the making! Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll, you'll have to break the code to get to him. Okay, so the code is, you have to find the key within these trash cans, and... Ugh, man. Again, you find the if uh, if you find the key, the key's usually right next to it. The only problem is there's quite a few trash cans right next to each other. So there it is. We found it and turn it on and there we go. Okay, so that's one. And if you go right here, look at that. Right off the first try, we find it. Okay, so there are three Pokemon traders right here. I am going to battle them all, mainly because well. Yeah, we kind of need more Pokemon battles for all our Pokemon right here, since, yeah, half of them kind of fainted and all that crud, and, and yeah, that's not pretty cool, man. Not cool at all. Okay, so here we go, we're taking on a Rocker, and well, here we go, up against a uh, good old Voltorb right here, and thankfully we got Terramon ready to destroy everybody, so let's go with a Dig Attack. Now, if I only can find another controller right here, and that failed, here's the Dig Attack. And, well, there we go. Dig Attack does the thing. And it defeats Voltorb. Alrighty, alrighty. And, well, Terramon right there grows to level 22. And, well, here he's going to be coming out with another Voltorb. So, let's continue on with with Voltorb right here. Or with uh, Terramon. And, well, let's go straight for a Dig Attack. Of course, he's going to be trying to get us a, uh, the Screech right here, so let's go right ahead and use another dig, and right there, say goodbye to Voltorb. Yeah, buddy. And, well, here comes another one. No issue whatsoever. And, well, let's get the dig attack, and, well, we're going to get Screech dig again. Alright, sorry about that, guys. We had a little bit of a issue right here. But yes, uh, we are going to be digging yet again. And well, here we go. A dig attack for the win. There we go. Voltorb defeated. And there goes Terramon again growing another level. So he's going to be eating right here. That's right. Terramon's eating. Let's go. And well, here we have another trainer. And thankfully, we solved this puzzle real quickly. I, d I never get this lucky. Trust me, guys. For those who are new subscribers, I never get lucky at this at this place. It's, 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 it's hell for me. So here we have a Sailor, and he has one Pokemon, and that is Magnemite at level 24. Now, again, I'm going to keep on saying this. This is Generation 1. Magnemites are not... Well, yeah, Magnemites are not a Steel-type Pokemon, and the, level the Levitate move or ability does not exist right here. So any kind of Ground-type attack will work against Magnemite, including Haunters, you know, Gastlys and whatnot. And there we go. Yeah, surprised you. Terramon's killing it today. All right, so we're going right here. And here we have, oh boy, and he's like, when I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Oh, damn. Commanding officer. Okay, so here we go. Gentleman wants the fight, and he's going to be coming out with a Voltorb himself. So let's go right ahead and use a Terramon yet again, and wow, I didn't mean to do that. Now, here's a move that's gonna mess Terramon up, and that is, uh, well, yeah, Sonic Boom, because it automatically takes 20 points away from you. 
So no matter what it is, it's automatic 20 points. It's kind of like Dragon Rage. And here we go. We're going to go straight down. And here it goes with the dig. And the dig attack works. There we go. Okay. All righty. And, well, going to be coming out with another Magnemite. So let's go ahead and continue on the onslaught right here and go with another dig attack. And here comes another Sonic Boom. Automatic 20 points right there. And... Yeah, one more Sonic Boom will actually beat Terramon. So, there we go. We have one. That's how you do it. Alrighty. And Terramon grows to level 24. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. Level 24, Terramon. Okay. So, before we go into the next battle, I bought myself quite a few super potions. And there it is. Growing it up. Okay. So... It's time. It's time. It's time for the next gym battle right here. So here's Lieutenant Surge. He's like, Ted, huh? welcome to the Vermilion Gym. Will you look at that? A pint-sized challenger. <laughs> You've got a big, brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A, po a Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. And like always, guys, I'm just going to say it. I love this song. Oh, yeah. Here it is, guys. Guile himself from Street Fighter, Lieutenant Surge. And he's only coming out with one Pokemon right here. So let's go into the quick one right here. Here we have Lieutenant Surge. We're going to be taking on him. In Pokemon Yellow, he only has one Pokemon, and that is Raichu. While in red and blue, he does have a level 21 Voltorb, a level 18 Pikachu, and a level 24 Raichu. The prizes, Thunder Badge, and the TM24. So let's go back right here. You gotta, you gotta use yourself a ground type Pokemon because, uh, yeah, this Raichu is a little bit of hell to beat. And on top of that, it likes to use its speed to its advantage. And just like that, <laughs> what now? We got lucky. We seriously got freaking lucky. Whoa! You're the real deal, kill kid. <laughs> Fine then. Take this thunder badge. And there it is, guys. We want ourselves our third badge, just like that. One move, KO. That's it. I was not expecting that. Anywho, the thunder badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. I, it also lets you use Pokemon Fly anytime. You're special, kid. Take this. And just like that, we get ourselves the TM24, which is Thunderbolt, a very, very powerful Electric-type move. Teach it to an Electric-type Pokemon. A little word of advice, kid. Electricity is sure powerful, but it's useless against Ground-type Pokemon. Yeah, you kind of just saw that right there. Wow, I got really lucky with, the, with both the Puzzle and Lieutenant Surge. Wow. I was not expecting that, so... Yeah, okay. So, after you defeat Lieutenant Surge, there is one little thing that we need to do, and we kind of need some space on our Pokemon team in order to do this. And that is... We need to, uh... We need to get a little somebody right here. Hold on just a sec. Okay, here we go. Let's go right here to the Pokemon... Uh, the, 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 the Bill's PC... Let's go ahead and deposit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and deposit. Let's deposit Sir Razor for just the time being, okay? And let's go right back outside. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go right back down here. Now, talk to this lady. She's like, you have the Thunder Badge? You must be a good trainer. I just caught a Squirtle that was uh, always getting into mischief. Would you like to take care of it? Yes, I do. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Squirtle. Now we have to th now we have to remember the nickname. So I'll be right back with you for that nickname. Alrighty, guys. So I figured out the nickname because uh, yeah, I keep on forgetting. But say hello to Leonardo. Leo Nard. Nard. <laughs> Leonardo, the Squirtle. Okay, please t please treat Squirtle right. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the Squirtle right here. Leonardo the Squirtle. As you can see, Squirtle, even stats as well. And, uh, well, it has its attacks and everything else in between right there, too. Now, I know that many of you guys are thinking, hey, are you going to be using that as your water-type Pokemon? No. 
But like I was saying, guys, there will be... This won't be the last time you see Dubasaur, Leonardo, or any of the Pokemon that I've captured in previous uh, in previous walkthroughs. I, I do have a huge plan for all of them. It's just right now, I can't really reveal it until, well, you know, we finally get there. Which is uh, after this episode, because I kind of want to reveal it. It's, it's going to be fun. It's really going to be fun. Uh, I'm not trying to get that Pokemon. Holy crap, what was I thinking? Okay, so, anywho, uh, we're not going to finish this episode right now. We kind of, I kind of want to finish the episode by going to the, going to the Diglett's Cave, guys. And from there, you know, grabbing a few more items like the HMO5. So, we got three badges in all. Now it is time for us to go straight to the Diglett's Cave. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Repel because I really don't feel like getting attacked by any of these Pokemon now. Let's see. I still have Sandshrew with me. So, the good thing is we do have a Pokemon that knows Cut. And uh, we're going to be grabbing a few things. So, here it is. Diglett's Cave. Now, be aware that you will be able to find a Dugtrio around here. And it's going to be a very, very strong Dugtrio. Probably at the level 30 uh, position right there. And, well, I do have a bike. I just realized that. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna get the heck out of here real quickly. And, uh, let's see. What else do we need to get? <laughs> Quite a few other things, too, that we don't normally get. So here we are back in Route 2, near the Viridian City, uh, Viridian Forest. And the Repel has worn off. And let's go right up here. Now, if you talk to this gentleman, a faded Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. And if you talk to this kid right here, you trade him a Clefairy, you will be able to get yourself a Mr. Mime, which I will eventually show you guys the trade Pokemon in here. Now, let's move further. You do need Cut Technique for this situation right here. So, again, Sandshrew, pretty cool, very good, awesome. Alright, so there are quite a few things you can grab. Items, and you can talk to this gentleman right here. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. So, Draven, have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. I caught 16 kinds. Do not worry, there's going to be more. And, uh, wow, we do not have room for the HMO5. Great. Okay, so... Alright, so we need to get rid of a few things. This is great. Um, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to toss away these guys. And uh, what else? You know what? Just get rid of these. I'll go buy them later. Because there's quite a few things that we need to grab, and they're very, very important. Uh, an escape rope. Let's go ahead and toss that out. And what else? What else? What else? What else? A great ball. Max potion. Uh, oh yeah, paralysis heal. Okay, so that is enough right there. We'll stock up later. So again, we're gonna get the HMO5 from pr the professor's aid right here. And uh, come on, give me the HMO5. 16 Pokemon. Congratulations. There we go. Okay, so we got the HMO5, which is Flash, and it's gonna be needed over at the Rock Tunnel. And here we have the HP up, which I will be selling for a little bit more money instead of just you know whatever. And here we found another Moonstone. And uh, let's see, is there anything else right here? No. Okay, so we got one more thing to take care of before we take off right here, guys. And that is we need to go back to the museum because uh, we got some business to take care of right there. And I don't know why I got on my bike so briefly. I really didn't. Okay, so let's go here, bicycle. And let's go right here. Let's go cut, and let's go right here, and let's get the heck out of here. So, remember how we used to be in this area, guys? Remember how we uh, went through our adventure? Yeah, well, here we are back in Pewter City, and all you have to do now is you actually have to go right here in the backside of the museum, and use your Pokemon to nose cut, and from there... Go ahead and go, go ahead and talk to this individual. And he's gonna be like, "Shh, I think this chunk of amber contains a Pokemon DNA. It would be great if a Pokemon could re be resurrected from it." But but my colleagues all oh, just ignore me. So I have a favor to ask. Take this to the lab and get it examined. And there we go. We got ourselves an old amber, which will be revived into an Aerodactyl pretty soon. 
Well, now we have to go all the way back to Vermilion City. My god. All the way to Vermilion City. How can we get back over there? Oh, I know. We got the Pokemon for it. Where are you, Ultra Psycho? Let's go ahead and warp all the way back. Look at that, guys. Back in Vermilion City. Okay. So, that completes this episode right here, guys. Um, it's been a fun one. It really has. I mean, I didn't expect to solve the puzzle right away and then on top of that, uh, beat the gym leader like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I really didn't expect it. Okay, so, anywho, uh, the announcement right here, guys. Okay, so, if you guys remember, uh, about a year or two ago, my roommate had a, a channel called Poke, uh, Poke Adventures HD. And it kind of closed down because obviously he didn't have enough time since he's a first responder and all that stuff. Well, I took it over and renamed it Pokemon Journeys HD after the original Pokemon Journeys HD. What's going to happen there is I am going to replay all of Red, Blue, and Green. And they're going to be the sources to where I'm going to be trading the Pokemon back and forth. That is where we're going to be completing our episodes, or that is where we're going to be completing our Pokédex. On top of that, we're going to be using Pokémon that we've used in the past, like Thrasher, Smasher, uh, Kid Thunder. All these Pokémon that I've used from Generation 1, they're going to be in, the, in, the, in that channel with those Pokémon games. And then we're going to be mixing it up right there in Pokémon Stadium. That way we have a diverse team, because I've I actually went through Pokémon Stadium... And I'm going to be honest, guys. I feel a little plain with just one team. So we're going to be playing all of them. We're going to be diverse with the, the starters that we have and everything else in between that. I cannot wait to get that started. And yes, that channel will still be non-narrated. Yeah, I don't feel like narrating anything, all, anything else. So we're going to go right there. The link will be on the description right there if you guys want to subscribe or if you haven't subscribed. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it right there, guys. I cannot wait to continue going right here. We're making good progress. And, uh, well, if you guys feel like donating, link is on the description. Make sure to click the subscribe button, notifications buttons. Yes, I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. And we're going to be making our way through the Dark Cave or the Rock Tunnel, whatever it's called. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.